Sean, Venom Fang X, the moron in the mansion, has once again come up with a brilliant refutation of atheism. This time, it's playing on the ignorance factor. He says, surely, Mr. Atheist, you wouldn't be so arrogant as to assume that you know everything that there is to know, would you? And then, of course, when you modestly say, yeah, of course I wouldn't, then he responds by saying, well, how can you be so sure that the proof for the existence of God isn't out there in the part of reality that you don't know about? Well, isn't that wonderful, Sean? You see, you seem to be missing a number of very important points here. First of all, you are the one coming into the discussion with this preposterous claim. You are the one who needs to provide evidence in order to convince us that what you're saying has any merit at all. We don't have to prove that you're wrong. We can just assume that you're wrong unless you can actually convince us. If you can't, nobody is under any obligation to take you seriously. That is the first thing. Secondly, of course, what you also seem to have completely failed to understand is that it doesn't take omniscience to spot certain particular kinds of bullshit, Sean. It doesn't at all. Sometimes, with a limited amount of knowledge, you can spot that somebody is talking nonsense. A very good example of this is something that I saw recently by Croesus Borg, where he lampooned the whole idea of some galactic federation, Yokomi what's it, lighting Jupiter as the second sun in our solar system, which is something that is clearly physically impossible and therefore can be dismissed as ridiculous without any further investigation. And your claim for the existence of your God is just as preposterous, Sean. Look at the history of your God. Just look at it for a moment and see how your God is clearly the last surviving kitten out of a litter of an ancient Judaic pantheon. Your God, yes, Sean, your monotheistic God was originally just one of many in a pantheon on a par with that of the Romans and the Greeks. Just another false God, like all the others. Now, of course, you might still claim that you have a handle on the truth here, but why should we, we believe you? That is where, again, you are obliged to provide the evidence. The evidence that I do see clearly shows that your God, the God that you believe in now, was is definitely not an eternal, unchanging being of any description. It is clearly mythological in origin. It has clearly been messed with as a concept by human beings and it is also pretty obviously a human invention. So as something that is really supposedly out there, I can dismiss it out of hand. I can state with almost absolute certainty, Sean, that your God does not exist. I am certain of that beyond any reasonable doubt. Of course, then, the next point of attack is typically this, that they are going to tell you that how can you be so sure that there isn't something greater out there that is somehow responsible for the creation of the universe. Well, you know what? Even if I grant you that I can't be sure about that, although you might look at my playlist to see all sorts of other arguments against it, but even if I grant you it, that is no reason to take your God seriously for the very reasons that I outlined earlier. Your God is still impossible and cannot exist.
So your God can be dismissed out of hand. And your empty, pathetic, ridiculous, nasty threats with hellfire and damnation can also be dismissed out of hand. And with that having been said, what are we left with but a sniveling little teenager who seems to have nothing better to do than to sit in front of a camera and threaten other people with nonsense. And that, my friend, is why everybody laughs at you.